guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about some new makeup releases because uh, brands keep releasing stuff. So uh, let's get into it. The first thing I want to talk about is this e.l.f. and Chipotle. I think this is a um, fast food type of restaurant, right? I don't have that where I live, so I think so. If it's not, like, leave it in the, in the comment section down below. Uh, I think the eyeshadow palette looks cute. But this is so random. <laughs> like, where did this come from? Like, I just don't know. Uh, the lip gloss, it's pretty. The um, sponge, the makeup sponge, looks really pretty. It's uh, an avocado, so I really like that. Uh, it's uh, it's nice. It's funny. Uh, I don't know about the quality. I'm gonna have to wait and see some reviews. Then again, Elf makeup kind of comes to us like. A while after it was released in the US like we don't even, I think we don't even have the retro or I think that's the name of the eyeshadow palette that was really popular uh, last summer we don't even have that so uh, I don't know if this is even gonna be released where I live but uh, if it is I don't know it seems like a cardboard type of packaging I don't not so sure about that. Mm, the color story does look pretty and the swatches do look pretty. I don't need it. Next. The next thing I want to talk about are these uh, Hermes um, or Hermes. No, I, I think it's Hermes. Uh, blushes. I I don't know. They do look pretty. What's up with the these luxury brands. I just don't understand releasing makeup, but I think makeup is the new perfume. Like everyone had a perfume in the early and late 20s, 20s, 2000. I, I, I can't talk right now, so sorry. Uh, so uh, I think we all remember the Paris Hilton perfumes. I've, ne I, I've never bought one. But I don't think they they were released where I live anyway. But I do remember seeing them and wanting to try her perfumes like when I was in high like middle school. So yeah, I don't know what to say. The packaging is like luxury. We can't complain about the packaging, but yeah. It's a no for me. So, uh, next. Another thing that I don't really understand is this Coach and uh, Sephora collection, like collaboration collection. I don't get it. I don't get it. Uh, Sephora... Um, I don't know. Eyeshadow quality is not the best. So... And I don't really care about Coach. So... Yeah. They do look pretty, but like a keychain type of packaging type of thing, I don't really understand it. I don't know why there are dinosaurs and sharks and unicorns, like, is this like a theme for Coach? Because I don't really know Coach as a brand. I never bought anything from them, so... No, this collection is a no for me. A thing that I was intrigued by is this Body Sauce by Fenty Beauty. First thing, why is it called Body Sauce? Is it called Body Sauce or is it just the hashtag? I don't know, but if it is, gross. Uh, it's, I don't really understand um, body makeup. I just don't understand it, except like if you have scar tissue, like I, I can understand that. But other than that, if you're fine, like if your body is fine, except like stretch marks and things like that, like scar tissue and stretch marks, I can understand that. But what is the point if you have like a flawless body, like if you have a normal type of body, like is this like a... Tan lotion or something 
blurring body tint so it's like a tan lotion I don't know is it any good I don't think it's out yet I'm gonna have to wait uh, for the reviews I've never tried body lotion body body lotion uh, fake tan <laughs> I don't know uh, fake tan I've never tried fake tan on myself because I only tan in the sun and if I don't go to the beach I just don't tan during the summer so I'm basically year-round I'm basically pale so uh, it's fine but uh, yeah I've never used because I think it's a hassle to have to use self-tanner self-tanner that that is the word I was looking for self-tanner is really hard to use like you don't have to stain you you can't stain your sheets like it's it's a hassle like I'm just not doing that maybe I'm too lazy but I'm just not gonna do that <laughs> if you do like good for you you are not as lazy as I am but uh, yeah it's a no for me one thing that I really liked are the bare minerals uh, bronzer not not bronzer bronzer I what blush and bronzer blush and bronzer bronzer well that's a name yeah these are pretty but the name it's something else yeah no no don't do that either blush or bronzer but yeah it is like a brush or bronzer I don't know do you you use like blush as a bronzer or bronzer as a i think you, you can use bronzer as a blush but these are pretty like really really pretty i love uh, the um, the stamp on it I don't, I don't know how you the design of it i really like it i'm not gonna get them but uh, i really like these ones like really pretty as for the Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette, Circo Loco, I'm the one who found it, I'm the one uh, who posted the review, so if you're looking for a review uh, in, the in the description down below, so I got it, I love it, you're gonna, you're gonna wait to see in my review if you wanna watch it, uh, and uh, yeah, I got that one. The next collection I just don't understand, like... It's like a blood sugar type of palette, but with with different packaging. Is it the same palette? I think it's the same palette, with just different packaging. Yeah, it's the same palette. And with the blush palette, and with a mini palette. It's a no for me, especially since... We know who the owner is, I just don't want to support it, but yeah, it's a no for me. Another thing that I don't really understand, when did Jacqueline come out with so many products? <laughs> I just don't understand it. Uh, baked blush and bronzer duos. Well, I don't really like hair in my makeup, so no thank you. Next. A collection that I really love and I'm so mad I, I can get uh, where I live except like the shipping is just out of this world uh, annoyingly expensive but uh, I love this Bambi collection like this Bambi collection I don't know like maybe maybe someone watched my dreams when I was little I always I don't know I always loved Bambi and the images from ba I just love this collection I love everything about it I'm so mad that I can't get it where I live like it's gonna cost like triple the price of uh, of the eyeshadows but uh, yeah sadly I'm not gonna get them another thing that I really liked is this blush from Estee Lauder it's so pretty it looks beautiful like rosy and summery and springy vibes I I love it I love it so much and I can't wait to see it in the store I don't think I'm gonna buy it though because Estee Lauder it's pretty expensive for what it is and I have 
many blushes that I can uh, I can reach for, so uh, I don't need this. But uh, if I oh my god, the packaging looks so pretty. It's so pretty. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna get it because it's gonna be way too expensive. Oh, it's thirty two dollars. I don't know yet. I thought it w it was gonna be like. Fifty dollars, thirty-two. Like if I get, I can get it on sale, not or with a discount. I might get it. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, I thought it was gonna be pricier than that. Well, these are the new makeup releases. I don't think uh, nothing much else has caught my eye, so I'm not. I'm just not gonna talk about them because. They're pretty boring, if you ask me. And uh, like and subscribe if you want to. And see you next time. Bye!